So this is my friend Andy's Chevy. He's got a really nice Fulton visor on it, but the cover on the top went flying into a field and went for a harvester. So I offered to make him a new one. Now, I spent some time rolling some stainless steel and uh, getting it welded up real nice. I knew I left a bit too much of a gap there to weld and during the course of grinding, the kind of peak what goes down the centre, like the whole pinnacle part of it, after it's polished up, was kind of wavy and I didn't like it. And during the course of like adding extra weld and so forth, I kind of got impatient and didn't put enough time into it. And to cut a long story short, I spent many, many hours on it and I just ended up screwing it up, basically. You can see there's a horrible wave to that there. And there it is. I ended up just bending it in half, partly out of frustration and partly to prevent me keep putting more and more time into it. Sometimes you just have to uh, let things go. So today I'm going to make a new one out of steel. One hand is filming, huh? You get the idea, it's about to be welded up. Needed to cut and shut the bottom bit because it uh, wasn't bent quite right. All welded up now. Time to do some grinding, clean it off. It's going well. Ground down, front one to do. And then it's fitting and trimming. So I whittled a pencil down with my uh, grinder in the drill in order to fit through the holes like that and marked on here where the fasteners have got to go. How about that? Using these uh, scrap brackets again, I think they're from door closers. Those screws there, the smaller ones are M5. So I've got a bunch of these, I've got a couple of these. I'm gonna cut, cut three of them and then uh, weld them in. So I've transferred, just done a little drill mark to get from the tape and then it'll just be a matter of welding welding this on here doesn't matter that there's an extra piece of steel just going there like that a couple of tacks that's all it's going to need hold it in place and we can uh, offer it up on the old uh, visor Let's see how we're looking Well, I've got the uh, fasteners in. I am extremely happy with how this is turning out. Really, really pleased. So, you know, I've got a lot of uh, turns on the threads on that. I'm gonna wanna put some thread lock on there. But it's enough. get some good good tightness on that so I need to decide how to uh, trim this front piece now um, I think it's going to be a matter of what happened to my pencil it's going to be a matter of giving a little bit of distance and then just trimming it down although I think it might look quite cool with like a diagonal on it yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do that. See how it looks like that. The back here could just be trimmed down. I 
I think it looks sweet. I think it's good to go. I've put that little piece on the top, screwed on at the bottom, and that'll hold this uh, leg, windscreen leg in place. So that's cool. You can put some nice stainless nuts and bars, well, sorry, screws in there. These are the only M5s I've got, so you're gonna to wanna to find some nice M5 button heads or whatever you want. They've gotta be quite short. I think uh, I make them work with this long, which is uh, probably 10 mil. The bottom side is, it's got the threaded, threaded holes, just some pieces I had. So this is steel, of course. Yeah, finished piece. Looking good. A little bit sanding down done. I'll hit it with some primer, I reckon. Maybe. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Yeah, so there it is fully assembled. Got screws in the bottom. Put some red Loctite on it, huh? <laughs> 